Welcome to Dee's Kitchen. Today we're making a chickpea salad. Never made it before. It's like a cold type of a salad. And so we're going to just try it today and see how it turns out. So one can of black beans, one can of chickpeas washed and rinsed, half of a red onion, a cucumber, diced all up, tomatoes or grape tomatoes. You can put more if you like. Quarter cup fresh parsley. As you can see, we have our parsley here. That is a fresh parsley in there. We have about three cloves of garlic chopped up. We like garlic, so some flavor. And we'll throw the pepper in there. I want to mix that up. Um, it calls for green pepper, however, there was some, a lot of green in here. We have nice orange sweet peppers, so I went with orange sweet peppers. About a quarter, a third of a cup, something like that. We have half an avocado here. It does call for one avocado. Rick does not care for avocado, so we're cutting it down. But one avocado is what the recipe does call for. And then there's a half of a lemon juice squeezed on there to keep the color. So we have that in there. That in there too. All right, look how pretty it is. I'm in closer now, buddy, so you can just see the salad for a second. Look how pretty. I'm gonna mix that up a little bit and see the chickpeas and the black beans come into the top. Look how gorgeous that is. If you don't like black beans, you could leave those out or use less of them. Whatever works for you and your family. Okay, can back up a little bit there again. Just me and this. And then we have a dressing, which is made with uh, half of a cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a, um, about, I think it was a half a teaspoon of cumin, and some salt and pepper. And we have that mixed up here because I wanted it to kind of mix up a little bit. So then we're just going to pour this over the top. Seems like an awful lot for that, but we'll go with it. Back in here, bud. See how pretty that is. Oh, it smells really good. And you could always use more onions or more whatever you like, and less of what you don't like. Like I said, I'm not sure we're gonna love this, but we're gonna give it a whirl. I had pretty much all the ingredients, so now we are just going to stick that in the refrigerator, cover it up, and for at least an hour so that it can cool down through everything and the flavors can mingle better. And then we're gonna try it out with dinner tonight and see how it goes. We have hamburgers on the grill and we're gonna see what it tastes like. Thanks for stopping in. See you next time, bye.